Hi, and we're back. Welcome back to Mama Shar Beauty. Uh, I want to open up the month with this beautiful look. I mean, a heart cut crease. Can we talk? Holy cow. Shout outs once again to Rocio Siha on Instagram. Did I pronounce your name correct? I'm so sorry. But anyway, check her out right here. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my God. I just... Oh man, I fell in love with it and I had to recreate it. So very easy and what I really thought it was going to be. What the tough part was trying to shape the heart, but you know what? With the right concealer brush, that's all you need, baby. Well, and the lips, I'm so in love with my lips right now. It's so gorgeous. I cannot with my sauce. All right, enough with me tooting my own horn. Let's get into this lovely Valentine's Day look. Now, I went ahead and primed my eyes. I used the MAC Cosmetics 24 Hour Eye Base. Now with this though, you don't have to set it. You really don't. You really just got a, a thin layer. It goes a long way. So totally up to you and your preference. It's cool. Now before we go into the amazing red, the smokiness, I always try to lay down a transition color because it really helps at least guide me on how far I'm going to take the eyeshadow. So going into my Jaclyn Hill palette right here, taking the color Buns, Bam. It's this really nice, um, how would I say this? It's literally a nude, but it's like a rose dusty type color. I don't know. I don't know what else to call it, except it's a rose. Nami I mean, jelly bean. So the usual, I always try to look down into a mirror because it really helps look, um, not look, but see how my... Hold on, there's like bells ringing and it's been ringing annoying me. <laughs> As I was saying, you know, train of thought. I'm gonna be looking down into a mirror, try to find a really good, you know, mirror where it's close enough. And I'm taking some buns and I'm gonna run this throughout my entire eye. Basically just creating a nice transition so that when I smoke out that red, it will at least will look much more blended, if that makes any sense. Now, fair warning, uh, they do mention that red pigments are usually the really bad for your eyes, but again, it's totally safe. It, at least for what I'm using, it's totally safe. But don't take my word on it. So be careful. Now I am blowing out this color above, like really high up there, only because I really want it to be this really nice red smoky and I'm using a Morphe M504 brush. It's a really nice soft brush and I'm just smoking all the way. Yes, all the way to my inner quanta and to my outer quanta. Okay. Now, taking the same color but using a smudger brush, this is the Bedellium Tools 758, I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my bottom eye. Now, as you can see, the pigmentation of the eyeshadows are amazing. So definitely get your hands on it. So I'm gonna smoke it out even more, taking an E17 from Morphe, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the edges. Not necessarily like right on top of the color, but I really want the edge of this eyeshadow to be nice and soft. I mean, hello, it's Valentine's Day. It's a day. Right, ladies? A day of love. Right, going in with my Sugar Pill Cosmetics palette, taking, of course, Love Plus. This is really beautiful red eyeshadow. Again, red pigments are actually really bad for your eyes, um, or at least they don't, they give you a warning not to put it close. But, you know, since it is an eyeshadow, I'm assuming that at least this is good. We're okay. We're okay. Just be mindful, guys. Just be mindful. Taking my no, what's this? BH Cosmetics, number 12 brush, and I'm gonna just whirl it in there. Take as much as you want, boo, because we're going to buff this in the inner corner and the outer corner, basically trying to darken it with more of the red. So yeah, take some love plus and blend away.
And of course, for the inner corner, I'm taking the brush from Morphe E17 and buffing that band right here as well. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. It's a very unconventional way of smoking it, but you know, I wanted this Valentine's look to be very the bam in your face. So speaking about getting in your face, we're gonna go ahead and take a pencil brush. This is from MAC. This is a 219, and we're going to take some of the Love Plus from Sugar Pill, and we're going to smoke out all the way through. I really want this to be a nice smoky red like I'm a venereal walking disease. HPV, anybody? Is there anyone on HPV? So go ahead and do that. Get, put some HPV in your eyes. I know love is in the air so we're gonna darken it even more just like my asshole we're gonna take some of the purple here it's called poison plum and we're just going to emphasize the darkness of the inner corner and the outer corner of the eye mm -hmm. so to darken my outer corner taking the e17 from morphe of course you don't need a lot of this i just want to emphasize the darkness the depth that's the word, the depth. Oh my god, it's bit. That was disgusting. Good job. As you can see, I'm not going crazy. I'm literally just focusing it at that end. You know, the end of the rainbow. Like really gently focus. Focus it there and blend it out. Focus and blend it. Blend it and focus. But of course, for the inner corner, we're gonna take this little baby pencil brush, also from Morphe. This is the M515. And we're going to take a little bit more of the Poison Plum. Tap out that excess. And we're just gonna work this right here. Like really emphasize that dark inner corn tail. I'm telling you, these little details would make the look. Okay. But as I'm darkening, I'm literally pulling up. So I place it here and blending it upwards because I want the illusion that my eyes are going like this. Like that. And I'll show you why we are doing it that way. Not gonna lie, I fucking love this eye. Like, do you, do y'all see the way it looks like a 3D effect? Like, I love the fact that if I look down, it looks like the, my eye is going protruding just a girl. I feel skinny. Sure, mm -hmm. Well, going back into the M515, I'm gonna take some of the poison plum and I'm going to run that right, on, right only here, right at my outer corner, the lower lash line. Lower lash line, outer corner. Yes, that's a thing. So I'll go ahead and run that. But of course, tap out the excess because you know, some of these colors are very pigmented. Like, girl, they not playing today. All right, guys. Eyeshadow laid for the guys. Looking cute, looking smoking. Now time for us to cut the crease. But y'all know we're going to shape it like a heart. Never done it before, so you know what? We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna we're gonna go for it. If we make a mistake, you can always clean it up. How? I don't know. Wish me luck, cause I really love this eyeshadow combo right now. I'm living like bitch. Side note: 
before you guys cut the crease, remember your eye shape because you want that heart to show. So if I was to relax my eyes, I'm going to make that cut or the heart shape really high just so that when I, my eyes are closed, you can see the shape of the heart, right? Oh, fuck it, good luck. So taking some soft ochre from MAC and a flat um, concealer brush from the dollar store, it's bamboo. So I'm just gonna shut up and, well, let's, let's pray. Let's pray for hope, let's pray for peace. I really don't wanna fuck this up. So time for, well, let, let's play some music while I do this. Ready, go. You know what I just found easier? Make sure your brush, your concealer brush, is like a round tip, just so that when you lay it flat, you pull down, and it creates that shape for you. I just discovered that. Whoa! Mind blown. Q fire! Q fire! Yeah! You saw that? It's fire. No, really, can you add that? Yeah. Do it again. Now! All right, first part of the heart down. Let's do the second half. Oh my God, I'm like anxiety, I'm shaking. I just don't wanna mess up, you know what I mean? Work with thin layers and build as you go. Again, work with thin layers and build as you go. Yay! Oh my God, that was so stressful. I'm shaking, like I cannot with myself right now, but it looks cute. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera because I'm shaking like a bitch, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all should be looking like this. If not, y'all need practice. Okay, okay, y'all need practice. But we ain't done yet, we're almost there. Now, going back into my E17 brush, I'm gonna go ahead and basically bring this color here on the outside and the inner corner inwards, just to really shape that heart shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix Love Plus, which is the red eyeshadow, and Poison Plum, which is the purple eyeshadow from um, Sugar Pop. Oh my God, I'm having a brain fart. Having a brain fart. So go ahead and start at this end here, and you want to pull the color in. Be gentle. That was a lot of color, but you know, really like smoke out that edge right here. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and take the color buns from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and we're going to literally run this right on top of the Poison Plum and the Love Plus that we just blended out on that lid. Hmm. Now, you should be around this look already and we're going to emphasize the heart shape even more by taking some extra dimension eyeshadow. This is from the Holiday Collection. This color is called Delicate Drift. This is really nice light girl, like oh my God, like y'all ain't ready. 
do you see that? I'm gagging. Like when he throws it in really far and they're like, hold up, I need to breathe. That is how far it, it goes in. We're talking about makeup, right? Turn into a porno. And of course, the brush that I'll be using is the 239 Special Edition. This is from a holiday collection from MAC like years ago. I do not remember. All I know is I really wanted that brush set, and it's so sad because I no longer have it. Like, this is probably the only surviving brush from that entire collection because I'm a loser. Yeah. So, putting this right on top of the hearts. Mm. So I feel like I'm missing something. We're gonna go ahead and spritz this with Fix Plus because you know, she's dying, girl, she's dying. We want this wet, wet, girl, wet. And a small thing that I did off camera was I took my M515 and you see this sharp area right here of the heart? I mixed Love Plus and Poison Plum and really emphasized that top part because I wanted the heart to pop. So that's another great small detail that not a lot of people will probably even tell you, but try it out. I really just, I took this small defining brush or any brush that can fit in between there and I just smoked it out a little bit, just so you know. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes and some mascara and some, well, bronzer and highlight and we're gonna finish off the look with our lips. We'll be right back. Hi guys, so this is where you should be. I feel fucking gorgeous. Uh, if you're wondering, my highlight today is MAC Cosmetics Show Gold. Is this the extra dimension skin finish? It's fucking gorgeous. Sorry, don't mind, excuse my French. I just really wanted to be in love. You know what I mean? Because I cannot find him at the moment. I did, and then he cheated. You know who you are. You know. And of course, on my blush today is Luminoso from Milani Cosmetics. And for my contour, I'm using the Too Faced Cocoa Contour. I mixed medium cocoa and dark cocoa together. Whoo, I love it. Look at this. Do you, do you see this? Like, time for some lips. And it just so happens MAC just dropped this and I am excited to use these two amazing colors on my lips. This is the metallic lip colors from MAC Cosmetics. I have the color in retrograde and crowned and Oh man, let me just, let me just swatch retrograde for you. Look at this. Are you ready? Oh my God. Like it is so freaking gorgeous. That is a gorgeous red. And crowned is this nice dark plum. Oh my God, I cannot. Like, oh my God. Oh you're wondering how are you gonna use both of them? Well, I'm going to darken the outer corner with crown and I'm going to put the rest in the middle, huh, the rest in the middle, in retrograde this color. It's a beautiful red color. So I'm gonna do that right now. And if you wanna see how it's done, you in for a treat boo, cause it's gonna get lit. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> If you're trying to figure out how to ombre, I did make a video last year, so I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below and the many ways you can ombre your lips. Now, if you're trying to blend it in the other way, um, I will teach you that in just a sec, okay? Now for blending, um, what I'm gonna be doing now is just going back and forth with retrograde and crown and just pressing my lips together until I'm satisfied. I mean, I can just use a brush, but you know what? Yeah, we should use the brush, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll just use the brush. This is just any old brush, and I'm just gonna feather it in. Here it is, guys. The finished look. I am living. I'm living. I just wanted to create this beautiful look, and shout outs to the one and only Rocio, they, please tell me I pronounce your, your name correct, because if not, I'm going to kill myself. Okay, no, no, I'm not gonna kill myself. Anyway, Rocio Siha on Instagram. I love her, she's amazing. I just took 
uh, the look and I ran with it and you know what? I love it. What I love the eyes, I love the lips. The lips again guys are available right now on MAC and this is the metallic matte lipsticks or li I'm sorry, yeah, retro matte liquid lip color but in, yeah. Anyway, so red is retrograde or in retrograde and the nice plum color is crowned. Look at these two together, it's so good. I, I, I did this, I, I did this. I am proud of this look. Well, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will be announcing the Patrick Star winner uh, very soon. I just wanna give it a few more you know days so that people can still join. And again, if you still wanna join it, uh, the rules are on the My Patrick Star video. So definitely look at the rules. They're very simple, very easy. So yes, till next time guys. Happy Valentine's Day if I don't see you. I mean, this is my early look. Oh, I'm making love it. Well, peace, love, and cupcakes. Till next time.